Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be giving the brand new ASICS Meta Racer a performance review. So I'm here with Helen, she's in the A6 Meta Racer. We're also at Michael here, who's got the Socket Dolphin Pro, and I've got my Alpha Flies on, but today we're talking about the A6 Meta Racer. Now, from that B-roll, you've probably just seen that we've been out on a run. Now, Helen, who is firstly one of my favorite people in the whole world, but she's also an awesome, awesome runner. She's done uh, Amsterdam, New York, London, uh, probably more stuff than that, a sub four hour marathon runner as well. And as I say, she's just an absolute, awesome person but more importantly what did you think of actually now tell you what let's start what do you usually run in i usually run in asics or nikes okay. fly threes for speed yeah um the everides for everyday yeah long runs all that sort of stuff um, yeah but you pick them up for pick what reason up. apart from fomo FOMO because Michael's just buying everything yeah. in the world, but he's an elite. <laughs> I really am just an everyday runner, but I just fancy getting a speed shoe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they are super, super cool. Love okay. the colour. Yeah, the colour's awesome. Now, just if you've not seen the video, I've already done, uh, check it out. But basically, this shoe has a carbon plate, but it's in the front. So it's a, uh, I think it's a lobster claw shaped carbon plate. And it's actually at the front of the shoe along here. So unlike these, which is all the way along, and Michael's, which is all the way along, that's actually in the front. It's also got less of a stack height. It's got, I think, I can't remember, it's about 25 mil, and it's got a brand new foam, which is this flight foam, which is really soft and cushioned, versus, say, like an Evo ride, which is really, really hard. And I think what you get is you get the propulsion off the sort of softer back, and it pushes you onto that front. The other thing, which is really cool, I don't want to show up, but it's got loads of ventilation, in, like that hole in the front of that. But, so, I think the most important thing is what do you think at speed when you pick it up because that's where it matters. At speed it's here that propels you forward. Yeah. Massive difference to other shoes that I've run in. Do you feel like you're up on your toes or do you feel like you're on because you're a bit of a heel strike you said, didn't yeah, you? I am, but definitely feel further forward. Yeah. Definitely. So it just pushes you on. And the you acceleration can't, you can't really go on your heels on these. No? He's literally mid forward. And it just pushes you onto them the whole time. Yeah. What about at longer distance? So like like we just did a 10k. Does the foot feel tired? Does it feel hot or anything no, like that? No, really not. I no? mean, you can see, look, you can see my socks through it. It's yeah. so breathable. Good job the rain came yeah, actually, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you think, would you be happy to do 26 miles? And that's my, no. see, my complaint was I that. Think, I think I'd, my legs will get tired. Yeah. It hasn't got, it hasn't got the support. Enough cushion there. Cushion here. So yeah, if you compare it to them. Here, but it's definitely more of a racer. So yeah, so it's like a half marathon, half 10K marathon. shoe, yeah? yeah? Definitely. But you feel you definitely feel faster in them. That's, I think, the key I, I wanted to establish more than anything, is that, yeah. is that, that you feel Just, faster. You feel, you feel lighter, more springy. Yeah. So yeah, it, mentally, it makes you feel like you're going faster. Okay. If your mind's not. Okay. So you're happy with them, yeah? Really happy with them. Yeah, yeah really I, lovely fit. And I think that's, that, that actually sums it up right. That, that shoe, is perfect for those half marathon 10k it just gets you onto the front not like the Saucony where you sort of roll through onto your toe that just immediately gets you up onto that plate and then that's where the power comes from yeah. but I think like you said over 26 miles I think yeah. it'll beat you up and you'll it will hurt like hell I just think the pads of your feet will just start to hurt yeah no it will so it's a great great shoe but probably not for 26 miles yeah. right that's it from us Happy. thank you Helen really Pleasure. appreciate it thank you for coming running with me today that's it for me don't forget to subscribe we'll catch you later